So this is my phone. And here I'm getting gloves. I slept a little bit as I was sitting. And um, that is what has helped me. Um, that is what has helped me be able to stand and record this video. The reason why I'm recording this video is because um, is because I need to put this glove on. I have a picture on my iPhone that I normally use for YouTube videos and I need to show the picture. So I've put one glove on and I'm going to get this. The reason why I'm putting a glove on is because I do not know if it's contagious and it gets into your body. But what I do recall is when I would touch it, I would feel like I was getting weaker. So I got this sweets some time back um, when I went to Escape Petri or Ascot Hotel in Copenhagen. And, um, they tasted amazing and then when I began getting suspicious I stopped eating um, these ones so many inside I didn't even test them so so many of these ones I didn't even test them. Maybe they don't really have anything. But then these ones are so sweet. They taste like vanilla ice cream. They taste like vanilla ice cream. And the packaging lint so from Thailand. Lint so from Thailand very beautiful packaging and as soon as I ate this sweet I was in love I was in love I was in love because it tasted so amazing I'm going to kneel because I don't want to get weak So, at some point I got suspicious. I was like, why would a man give me so much, you know, gifts? Like, give me a watch, give me a bag, give me, um, give me a necklace. And honestly, lie about, you know, the labels and brands. And, um, it felt like as if, he was telling me something, you know, and I'm going to be bringing those gifts later on. I don't know where they are, but I have them. And um, I thanked him for the bag. I thanked him for the for the watch. I thanked him for the necklace, but they weren't so expensive, you know. And um, those other things that I ate, very tasty, very yummy, yummy the most sweetest things I ever tasted ever tasted if you gave me five boxes I would have ate them but I just got suspicious and I said no man has ever given me gifts like this as an escort what is going on I think he was asked to give me these things because what I do recall is when I began eating so much you know he was he began shaking 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 it was like fear and then later on he was pretending to say oh I could dominate you and then he gets my he gets me by the neck and he shakes me a little bit kind of like you know he was going to fight with me and I'm like oh please stop and that time I began feeling so sleepy so maybe he wanted to give them to me and maybe he wanted to see me um, get weak so that he could use me a little bit but I didn't get weak, or maybe he was told to give, you know, to give them to me, 
because I do recall there is a guy that I met in Copenhagen yesterday the 16th of July and he was driving past the traffic light um, the 7-eleven in between the 7-eleven and Danske Bank Norport and um, he stopped his car looked at me and smiled and then he sped really he speed up really quickly woo and he left I felt like as though he was trying to tell me something you know like if you stand maybe it goes so quickly I don't know but these sweets were so delicious so amazing you know you feel like you're going to sleep and you sleep so hard I think that I'm not the only one that has been given this poisoning I think if you're a girl that is meeting you know older men you're going to be given gifts you know and you're going to accept them because I've seen so many social media stars especially East Africans talking about they slept and they felt like they were going to die I think this is my same story I met somebody in a penthouse and um, I've been working as an escort but that was in the past <clears throat> when I had failed to work you know with a regular job and I decided to do it because it was amazing sometimes you're getting you know as much as I mean five hundred dollars and uh, that's what I got tonight and I didn't have sex with him we just had conversation and we talked and all that so I, I didn't complete my suite. I was like, oh my god, I need to keep these as samples. But I don't have the money to go to a lab. And I'll just take them back into the box. Bef but before I do that, I want to open up my iPhone because I took a picture of the person I met. And then I'll put in the card because I do not want to... I do not want to show um, my card and that's the man I met Ole said he lived in California but then he left California he's lived a very good life traveled around the world lives in Samui Thailand and we sat outside this was around Ascot Hotel or Escape Tree Penthouse. I took a picture. I asked him to take pictures. He did take pictures of me. We had the view of um, Copenhagen. You know that house there. <sighs> and I did take a picture of his feet because I felt his feet looked so beautiful. He takes good care of himself. Um, his feet and then him and then me and then me so I don't know why I just changed color uh. Okay, I've opened up the windows a little bit. So... Yeah, that is him. Ole. Oh my god. Come on. Yep, that is him. And the date is 26 June. 26 June 2018 and his beautiful fit and me at the balcony dressed down because I need to and I have to and these are the sweets that I ate and when it comes to these ones I didn't eat you know I didn't eat them I didn't So I'll just get this box and show a little bit. And I hope my family and friends have not been given something like this. Because when somebody gives you sweets like this, 
you will never know you will never know you will never know they are so sweet I do not know if I'm going to die I do not know if I'm going to leave I do not know if my memory is going to go because <laughs> you know you have to excuse me as a transgender person I have to I have to always try to speak as much as feminine as possible so I don't hope but I wish that you know this video goes viral and you know um, people stop eating sweets blindly like that you know you go and you die and nobody knows why you died and even the doctor doesn't know why you died but this is this is the sweets I mean these are the sweets this is the packaging These are the packagings and I'll just put them back in the box. Uh, and I hope my family does not get to be given such sweets. You only go to a shop that you support and then you buy something and they threaten them and then you buy because you trust and support them and then you know so these are the sweets that I was given as well love and it had the name Ole and we talked about ooh you know the fact that his name is Ole and the sweets are called Ole I do not know if they had anything but I did test one or two you know and uh, what I can say is I think I owe my dentist in ecology I think I owe my dentist an apology. I thought they are the ones that um, I thought they are the ones that put something on my teeth, but actually, I ate these sweets, and um, I ate these sweets, and um, now I feel like I'm sleepy. I fall into deep slumbers, and I was blaming, you know, the nurse in, you know, Sangroska University Hospital. But actually, I think this is where it began from. I do not know if this was the, you know, if this was the anti antidote. I've not eaten it because I'm not afraid. But I ate a lot of this one. I ate a lot of it. And then I drank, you know, I drank um, soda and um, I drank... Earlier I was drinking vodka, but I began feeling like I was going to really pass out. And I was like, no, 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 no. So I decided to drink, you know, soda. And I don't know what would happen if I had passed out. I do not know. I have no idea. But all I know is um, I was happy to talk about me transitioning and, um, you know, getting breasts. And, um, you know, um... We normally talk for like six hours and he gives me, you know, a really good amount of money. And um, sometimes he's like, oh, I need you to do this, I need you to do that. And it's not really so much. I'm not saying it because I'm ashamed, I'm just saying the truth. You know, some men do not want a lot of sex activity. So, yeah, that is... That is the... That is the man that I met 23rd June, I mean 26th June, 26th June, 2017. And I think maybe when I went to the dentist, um, and they cleaned my teeth. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I went to the dentist in Van Lowe's uh, earlier on, so that didn't help. But what I can say is, um, it's been an amazing time meeting him. Like, I've met him a couple of times. He's paid me really good money, and um, 
he um he has you know he was giving me that money to support me for going to driving school because i've been complaining about driving school i went to thailand but i didn't tell him i was in thailand he lives in thailand samui thailand i went to bangkok i didn't tell him i was in bangkok i don't know if that was something that pissed him off i do not know if this is poisonous i don't know if this is poisonous but I handle them with care and I keep them in a polythene bag. And I'm seeing so many people on social media talking about um, so many people on social media talking about um, how they sleep and then they feel like they're dying and all of that. And I don't know if this is the same thing. I hope people can start sharing their stories and maybe. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe we can find out what exactly is going on and protect other people in the wild. So with that being said, I need to go back and sleep. I've been able to record this video because I slept a little bit and I'm sleeping, I'm sleeping while I'm sitting, you know, and uh, with that being said, I have to say bye bye and... Um, I'll have to post this onto my computer.